The treatments of optic neuritis depend upon the cause. So if the cause is MS, the current approach is to give people whose vision is <clears throat> disabling intravenous steroids for three days and <clears throat> then stop and then you wait a couple of weeks and see what happens. If they fail to respond to a course of intravenous steroids, you sometimes give them intramuscular steroids in another form called ACTH. If a person has an infectious cause of optic neuritis, you treat the infectious etiology, the infectious agent that's causing the optic neuritis. Um, there's not much you can do about the hereditary forms. If there's a nutritional problem that's causing optic neuritis, then you supplement their nutrition. So it's all dependent upon cause, but you want to try to treat it as soon as possible so there's not any damage to the optic nerve that you can't repair. Medications all have side effects, potential side effects. For instance, giving somebody high doses of steroids uh, can affect their blood pressure, their blood sugar. Sometimes it can make them a little wacky. Um, they can, uh, the serious consequences are you can develop a peptic ulcer or you can um, have an effect on your bones where they can become brittle. That occurs on rare occasions. It occurs more often as a person gets older. Um, the antibiotics that are used to treat the infectious causes of, of optic neuritis have their potential side effects and they, those things have to be monitored during treatment. Again, the treatment depends upon the cause, whether or not you use one treatment or more than one treatment. If there's any component of inflammation and an edema, then you treat, an anti you treat it with an anti-inflammatory agent. If there's some infection that's contributing, then you use an antibiotic. Is there a role of acupuncture in treating optic neuritis and neuropathy? More so in the Asian nations because they just look to acupuncture as a more effective treatment for a lot of things. In the United States, people take a little bit more of a guarded approach to using acupuncture, but it's been used, just never published. How long will it take to recover from optic neuritis? Usually it takes two weeks if the intravenous steroids are effective. If it isn't improved within two weeks, you begin to consider alternate possible causes. And if it isn't better in three, four weeks, you consider whether to give somebody a second course of intravenous steroids or to use the intramuscular form called ACTH. The difference between fat-soluble vitamins and water-soluble vitamins is that the nervous system will absorb fat-soluble vitamins, and vitamins A, D, E, and K, or the fat-soluble vitamins, so they can cross into the brain and affect the central nervous system, including the optic nerve. Um, vitamins, per se, are not recommended as an acute treatment for visual loss. Vitamin D is recommended as a supplement in persons with MS. It seems to affect overall outcome. Um, vitamin A in intoxicating amounts, excessive amounts of vitamin A can cause the optic nerve to swell, but that's not the same thing as optic neuritis. It just can cause swelling of the optic nerve. So vitamins play a role. But, I mean, everybody who has a chronic illness should try to maintain a well-balanced diet. That includes water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins. The question is whether vitamin A can cause optic neuritis. Um, I don't think it has any effect on the cause of optic neuritis, but vitamin A can affect the optic nerve, especially when it's when the toxic amounts are taken in. Um, but it doesn't have an influence on the treatment or lack of treatment for optic neuritis.
Uh, vitamin deficiencies such as vitamin uh, B12 and thiamine can be damaging to the nervous system and to the visual system and to the optic nerves. So it's important in someone who's vitamin deficient to check vision and vice versa. If somebody has poor vision, you want to be sure you check their vitamin levels. Thank you.